Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a word search puzzle book on Canva to sell. For example, you'll be able to sell your puzzle book on Amazon and other platforms. So you can see right here that this individual is selling their puzzle book and they are making a good passive income. I'll be showing you step by step how to do this for free as a beginner. The first thing you want to do is create an account on Canva. So you can go on to canva.com and you can sign up using your email address. The next thing I'll be showing you how to do is to create the puzzle book pages. To do this, you will need to go onto a platform by the name of The Word Finder. So you are going to go onto thewordfinder.com. You can use this for completely free. So once on The Word Finder, you are going to tap on Word Search Maker. And this is where you will be able to input the words that you would like to add into your puzzle. So all you will need to do is open a new tab and you are going to go onto ChatGPT. And I typed in the prompt, for example, give me 100 words to add in an adult word search puzzle book. Depending on the category or the audience that you are planning to target, your prompt may vary. But this is just a quick example. And you can see that it provided me with 100 words that I could use in my puzzle book. And if we are to go off this example, you can see that they have 40 words in each puzzle. And I also want you to pay attention to the dimension. So you can see it is 8.5 by 11 inches. So we are going to be creating a book with the same dimension. The reason why I recommend that you go on Amazon and you select an example that you want to use is Amazon requires a particular dimension and also it is more professional. So once you have selected the dimension that you want to use, you are going to open a new tab on your browser and you are going to type in KDP cover size calculator. After you have done that, you are going to select the first option. From here, you can select the binding type. So we are going to be used in paperback. You can select the interior type. So we'll select black and white. Then you can select the page type. So we'll be using white paper. The reading direction, whether it is left to right or right to left. Then you can select the measurement units. I'll be selecting inches. And then as I said earlier, we'll be creating an 8.5 by 11 inch. So we're going to select that right there. Then you can add in the amount of pages that you will have in your book. So for example, I will be having 30 pages. Then I will tap on calculate dimension. After I've tapped on calculate dimension, I want you to tap on download template. So you're going to select download template from the bottom left hand corner. After you have selected download template, if we were to select downloads from the top right hand corner, then open it, you'll be provided with a zip file. So all you'll need to do is simply right click on the zip file and tap on open in new tab. Then if we were to select the PNG format right here and tap on open, you can see that the full dimension of our book would be, a, would be 439 by 285. So this is our book dimension and this would be the internal pages dimension. So what I want you to do next is you're going to go back onto Canva. Once on Canva, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on custom size and you're going to enter in the full dimension just like what I showed you earlier. And you want to ensure that you have changed the PX to MM then you're going to tap on create right here. So you're going to tap on create new design. After selecting create new design, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on uploads. Then you will tap on upload file. From there, you're going to simply select the file and you're going to be selecting PNG. Once you have uploaded it, you're going to drag and place it on the page so let's do that real quick so you can see right there now we have our book cover so you have the book cover and you also have the back of the book now you're going to select the page then tap on transparency from the top and you want to carry the transparency to about 25 where you can barely see the bleed right there 
now you can start editing your book cover but for the sake of time i won't draw that out so i'm just going to tap on text from the left hand menu option and i'm just going to be adding a text box and i'll just drag and place the text box right here i'll cut down on the size I'm just going to be selecting the text right here and I'm just going to call it puzzle book. Then I'm going to be adding a graphic. So I'll go over to the top left hand corner, tap on elements. From there, you can tap on the search bar and I'll type in puzzle book. And then I'm just going to tap on graphics and I'm just going to be selecting a random graphic. Let's say, for example, we were to select a random graphic real quick. Let's say this one, I'll just drag and place it right there. From here, if you want to change the background color or so on, you can do that. But all I would recommend you do is tap on the page, then select transparency once more, and you're going to carry it to zero. So you can see how our puzzle book cover looks at the moment. Once you have done that, you're going to be opening up a new page and you're going to go back to Canva home page. Once on Canva home page, I want you to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on create a design. After selecting create a design, remember we are creating 8.5 by 11. So we are going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in 8 and you can just select 8.5 by 11. So let me do that real quick. So we'll select this option and this will be our internal page. Now to upload your internal page, you will need to go back into the word finder. Now to create our internal page, you have inputted your words already. So all you need to do is go over to the top right here and you're going to tap on print. So you want to select PDF. After you have done that, you can go back into Canva. Then you'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads. Then you'll tap on upload file. And you're going to be selecting the PDF so you can see it right there and you'll tap on open. It is going to be saved in projects. So you're going to go into projects. Then all you need to do is drag and place the page. So you can drag and place the page right there. After you have done that, you can edit the page color by selecting the page. From here, you could go over to the top left hand corner and tap on edit image and you could tap on see all filters and you could edit the page color. You can also add elements to enhance it by tapping on elements right here. You can add different options. So for example, I could simply type in, for example, adventure and let's see what element they'll provide me with. So I could do that right there. Then I could tap on see all and I'll just be using one of these. So I could select this one, then minimize it and I could just add it right there. So you can use different elements to enhance how the page looks. That you Now that you have done that, you can see right here, I've created my 30 pages. So all I will need to do, if let's say, for example, you're planning to upload your puzzle book on Amazon, you're going to go onto KDP and you're going to be selecting the first option. Once here, you're going to tap on create. After selecting create, I want you to tap on create paperback. Once you have selected create paperback, from here you can type in your book title. So I'll be calling mine puzzle book. Then from there you can scroll down and you can input in the author's name. After you have done that, you can add in a quick description. So I'll type in this is a adult puzzle book. And do you have publishing rights? I'll tap on yes. Then you can scroll down and you'll select no right there. After you have done that, you can choose the primary marketplace. So this depends where you would like to sell your puzzle book, whether you would like to sell it on the general Amazon platform or Amazon UK or so on. After you have done that, you're going to choose the category. So for example, I'm just going to be selecting arts and photography, and then I'm just going to be selecting general, then tap on save. Then we'll scroll down and we're going to tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to be selecting publish without an ISBN or you can select if you have your own. Then you can select the book color that you like to use, whether it is black and white with cream or black and white. And as I stated earlier, the color of the page will affect the price that you'll be able to sell it for. Next, we're going to be selecting a size. 
remember that we are creating books 8.5 by 11 inches so you're going to tap right there and you can also select whether you have included bleed which we have so we're going to select bleed right there next you will be prompt to upload your manuscript and you can see that the accepted format is pdf so you're going to go back into canva and from there you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner and you're going to select download after selecting download you're going to tap where you see file type and you want to change that to pdf so we are going to be selecting pdf print then you're going to tap on download after tapping on download you'll give it a few seconds while the internal pages of your book is being downloaded once that has been done you're going to go back into kdp and you're going to tap on upload manuscript and from there you can upload your pdf so let's do that real quick so we'll tap on open then from here you can also add your book cover so just give it a few seconds while it is being added so you can see that it has been added successfully now let's add in our book cover and again it must be in pdf format so you're going to go back into um, canva once more and we're going to be downloading our book cover so we'll tap on share tap on download then we're going to change the format to pdf then we're going to tap on download after it has been downloaded once more you're going to go back into kdp so let's do that you're going to tap on upload cover and you're going to be selecting your book cover so you can see it right there and i'll tap on open after you have done that you can scroll down and then from there if you had used ai generated content you would tap on yes but we did not use ai generated content so we'll tap on no then you'll tap on launch previewer at the bottom of the page and you can see how it looks right here so this is our book cover and if we were to tap across you can see how the pages looks right there so you can see them right there once everything is still liking you're going to tap on approve in the bottom right hand corner after tapping on approve you will be redirected to a new page on this new page you'll now be able to set up the pricing and so on so you can see the recommended prices right there and you can tap on save and continue in the bottom right hand corner and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe